Taylor Swift's era's tour was coming to an end in Europe. She still felt the lively energy of the crowd in Paris, but she was also beginning to feel a quiet excitement. Taylor planned a treat for her boyfriend Travis Kelsey backstage, where she had her own private space. Travis, always there for his partner, had been rooting for her from afar by sending her sweet texts and even planning a romantic trip to Italy during a break in their tour. Their love story was like a whirlwind, surprising everyone with its charm and undeniable energy. However, Taylor was about to make things even better between them. With a sly grin on her face, Taylor reached for her phone as the last notes of her encore rang through the stadium. She called Travis's number and waited for him to answer with a smile on her face. Hey, babe, Travis's familiar voice came through the speaker. The time difference made his voice sound a little sleepy. Did you absolutely crush it tonight? I did, thanks to you, my love, Taylor said in a sweet voice. But I need to tell you something important. Something that could really blow your mind. Travis laughed, and his interest grew. All right, lay it on me, T. When Taylor took a big breath, her heart was racing with joy. I've been thinking a lot about our future, Travis, she said. About how much I love you and how much I want to spend the rest of my life with you. There was a long pause that made me think. Taylor thought she could almost hear Travis's heart beating along with hers. And? Travis finally got the words out, and his voice was a mix of excitement and nerves. And I want to get married, Travis, Taylor said with love and passion in her voice. I want to be your wife. It was very quiet on the other end of the call. Taylor held her breath while she waited for Travis to answer. After what seemed like a lifetime, Travis's somber voice finally came through. Are you serious, Tay? She answered, never been more serious in my life, and happy tears filled her eyes. Oh my God, Travis said in a broken voice, filled with joy. Yes, a thousand times yes. Taylor, I also want to marry you. More than anything else in the world. Taylor laughed through her tears of happiness. She whispered, Travis Kelsey, I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Her heart was full of love. The news that they were getting married shocked the media and made them even more of America's sweethearts. For Taylor and Travis, though, it was just proof of the love they already had for each other. For them, love would only get stronger over time. She got a chill when she stepped out onto the balcony of her Paris hotel room in the early morning air. In the distance, the Eiffel Tower stood tall, a symbol of love and the city's attraction. Swift's thoughts were in Kansas City, where her boyfriend Travis Kelsey was likely just getting up. Taylor had been on the European part of her era's tour for weeks, and the gap between them felt like it would never be able to be bridged. She missed the way Travis would hug her, laugh with her, and always be there for her. But most of all, she missed being seen and understood by someone who loved her for who she was, not just as the famous pop star. As Taylor sighed, she took out her phone and called Travis. As it rang, she held on tight to a small velvet box with the other hand. Her heart was racing with joy and worry. Travis's deep laugh waved through the speaker, sending a wave of warmth through her. Hey, babe, he said. Taylor's voice was barely audible as she said, Trav. I need to tell you something. She took a deep breath and then spoke quickly about her plans. She told him how much she missed him and how hard the tour had been on her. She also said she longed for a simpler life, away from the attention and pressure to act all the time. She said, I want to move to Kansas City, and the words hung in the air between them. I want to be with you, to build a life together, away from all the chaos. The other end of the line was quiet for a moment, then let out a gasp. Taylor, Travis asked in a deep voice, are you serious? This made Taylor cry. I've never been more serious about anything in my life, she said. I'm on the next flight out, Travis said with a happy voice that choked up. After a few days, Travis got to Paris. He had shiny eyes full of love and excitement. Taylor led him to the balcony with a view of the city by taking his hand. There, in the soft light of the moon, she opened the satin box and saw a diamond ring that sparkled. Travis Kelsey, she asked him with love in her voice, will you marry me? Travis's eyes got big with surprise, and then they got teary with happiness. 
Yes, he said in a whisper as he hugged her tightly. A thousand times yes. When the news came out that they were getting married, it shocked the media and their fans. But for Taylor and Travis, it was a dream come true. It showed how much they loved each other and promised a happy future away from the cameras and the noise of fame. As Taylor Swift left the stage, the bright lights of Paris sparkled against the Seine River. The sounds of her last encore were still playing in her head. The European part of the era's tour was a blur of sold-out stadiums, screaming fans, and electrifying shows. She was ready for a break, and she couldn't wait to spend it with her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. As she settled into her fancy hotel room, she smiled in a naughty way. Travis was in for a big treat, and she knew it would blow his mind. She grabbed her phone and called him, feeling excited all the way through. Hey, babe, Travis's warm, familiar voice boomed through the speaker. How did the show go? You had a great sound. Amazing, as always, Taylor said, her voice full of cute excitement. But listen, I've got something to tell you. Oh, yeah? Put the blame on me. Taylor took a deep breath and enjoyed the moment before she told everyone the big secret. I've decided to take a break from music after the tour. There was a beat of silence, broken only by the faint sounds of traffic coming in through the window. After a moment, Travis's voice filled the space with doubt. Wait, what? Do you mean it? Dead serious, Taylor said with a bigger smile. I'm putting away my guitar for a while. Now is the time for a new part. Travis couldn't say a word because his mind was running to process Taylor's shocking news. He had always known her to be an artist with a strong sense of self and a strong desire to make art. Her music was a big part of who she was. The thought of her leaving it all seemed impossible. But, why? He finally got himself to stutter. What are you going to do? Taylor's voice got softer, and the playful lilt was replaced by a hint of tenderness. Silly, I'm going to pay attention to us. Let's spend more time together, see more of the world, and maybe even start a family one day. Travis's heart beat faster. His eyes flashed to a picture of Taylor, glowing and beautiful, holding their future child in her arms. In secret, he had a dream that he had never been brave enough to say out loud. He asked with a heavy heart, are you, are you sure about this? Never been more sure of anything in my life, Taylor answered with a firm voice. I love you, Travis, and I want to build a future with you, a future that doesn't revolve solely around my career. Travis was completely shocked, happy, and confused at the same time. He never thought Taylor would do something so risky, but the fact that she was ready to do it for him made him feel so deeply loved that it hurt. I love you too, Taylor, he finally said through tears. More than words can say. Then come to Paris, Taylor said in a low voice, full of desire. Let's celebrate the end of an era and the beginning of our happily ever after. There was a shared sense of excitement in the air as they hung up the phone. The pop star Taylor Swift was about to go on the most unexpected journey of her life. It would be full of love, fun, and the promise of a future that would shine brighter than any spotlight.